Hello and welcome to Homeopathic Nation. Today I am going to speak about a repertory which I use to solve almost 50% of my cases. Very small, short, easy to carry book with a massive content. And I am sure it's one of the finest Indian literature in the field of homeopathy, I could say in the last 50 to 60 years. It's nothing but Fatak repertory. So let's see the man, Dr. Shankar Raghunath Fatak. He was basically an allopathic doctor. He later converted to homeopathy. So these are his contributions. Major contributions, his concise repertory of homeopathic medicine and his own materia medica. So Dr. Fatak was a great follower of Dr. Boger and his approach. So this is what Fatak wrote about Boger in his preface to his Materia Medica. So Dr. Boger has selected the most important symptoms from various Materia Medica and has included them in his Synoptic Key. But while presenting his symptoms, he has at times used such words that unless the student has the ability to read between lines, he will miss their hidden meaning. So Dr. Boger wrote Synoptic Key in a very minimalist way. What I mean, Boger has written, in, it's in a very concise manner. He never used one single extra word. If Boger would write a remedy in one page, Ken would write it in 10 pages. That's the way. And Fata sort of expanded Synoptic Key and added few other reliable symptoms from Kent, Lilienthal, Boric, etc. And also he added his own clinical experiences in his Materia Medica. So Fatak Materia Medica and Repertory is somewhat the exact replica and it's, it's like a mirror image. So when to use Fatak Repertory? So Fatak repertory can be best used when the genius of the case is very prominent. The general symptom of the case is very, very prominent. So let me tell you what is the genius. Suppose this is the remedy and these pearls, which is the symptoms of that remedy, say this long thread which run through entire symptom of the remedy which is called the genius. So genius is something you can define as the flavor of the remedy, the very essential trait which runs through the every symptom of that remedy that's a genius. So genius can be the type of person, the type of the pathology the type of sensation, the type of modality, anything. Let me show you one remedy, great drum album, so generalities. So white hellebore profoundly affects the mind, nerves, abdominal tract, heart, blood vessels, respiration, vertex and digestive system. Copious evacuations. Evacuations can be vomiting, purging, salivation, sweat, urine, with profound prostration and coldness, blueness, and a perfect picture of collapse. The effects are violent and sudden. It's a great fainting remedy. She faints from emotions, least exertion, slightest injury, with hemorrhage, Fains after stool, fains after vomiting, with cold perspiration. So can you identify the flavor of Veretrum album? So this has to match. This is the genius of Veretrum album. So there is the pace, the type of the effect. Effects are violent and sudden. The type of uh, the action, the pathology, Evacuations, violent evacuations, vomiting, purging, salivation, sweat, any discharges. Evacuations with profound prostration, sudden weakness and coldness and a perfect picture 
of collab. So this has to match with your patient. Have you seen this line in Allen's keynote while reading Aconite? Hanuman says, whenever Aconite is chosen homeopathically, you must above all observe the moral symptoms and be careful that it closely resembles the anguish of mind and body, the restlessness, the disquiet, not to be allied, excitability of nerves, the anguish, fright, anxiety of the mind and body and the restlessness. This is the genius of Aconite. This has to be a perfect match with your patient whenever you choose Aconite. Well known to use Fartek. Actually, the role of Fartek repertory is very limited to find a local symptom. Especially when, suppose when the patient says he has a headache in which he feels like his brain is clutched by a hand and which is twisted. To find the symptom, you need to look for a bigger repertory. So Fatak repertory is one of the fewer repertories which is arranged in an alphabetical order, not in a regional way. So the rubric starts from abdomen, abdomen external, abortion, to zygoma Z. So let's see some general pathological rubrics. Bone affections in general, exhaustosis, see the remedies, calcarea fluid, hecla lava. These are the very prominent remedies, phosphorus. Next rubric, infiltration, inflammation, blood sepsis, decomposition, See the remedies, muriatic acetum, pyrogen, very important remedy, malignancy, and uremia. Clinical rubrics and diagnostic rubrics. So FATA repertory is filled with a lot of clinical rubrics and diagnostic rubrics because FATA was an excellent clinician. So these are some of those rubrics. Elephantiasis, goiter, entropion, so I had a case of entropion few months back. So in that case, all the complaints started after an inflammation of the lower eyelid. Then it started turning inwards and there was a lot of irritation, itching, redness of the conjunctiva, but so much pain. And he was in fact taking lubricating ointments, artificial tears for few months without any relief. So, if you see this rubric in Fatak repertory, Entropion, there's one remedy, Tellurium. So this patient, I had given him Tellurium 200 and he was become so much better after Tellurium. So Hodgkin's disease, Leukemia, Osteomyelitis. Key rubrics or central rubrics. So there are few rubrics in Fatak repertory which explains a lot about that remedy. Often the very central theme or feeling of that remedy. For example, affection stifle. So the meaning of stifle is to restrain, especially an emotion. So in sepia, they never show up an emotion. Indifference to love one. And sepia is a mollusk. They often express the idea of going in words, closing and shutting themselves. The next rubric is frail as if body were. One of the remedy given is Tuja. So if you read Tuja, song of remedies, one of its main indication is the feeling of fragility, of being frail, a feeling of weakness within oneself. And he gives an interesting observation. I have found that patients in their follow-up often say that even a single dose of placebo aggravated them so much they, that they had to stop it completely. So Tuja has this feeling of inner weakness, feeling of being brittle, feeling of being very fragile. The next remedy, next rubric is grumbling. 
His value is not understood by others. The remedy is calcarea self. If you read Soul of Remedies, calcarea self. So the main feeling of calcarea self is that he is not appreciated at the place of security. For example, by his parents. Thus the calcarea self person is constantly trying to do things that will gain him appreciation. There is a constant feeling of not being appreciated or valued, of being put down and suppressed at the place of security. Next rubric, jaded rakes. The meaning of jaded rakes is fatigued or exhausted by overwork. One that has indulged to the point where those things just don't get them the same rise out of them they used to get it. So the remedy given in this rubric Jada Drake's Agnes Cactus. So if you read Agnes Cactus from Patek, there you can see there is a lot of loss of nervous energy. There is great sadness. Impotency and premature old age from abuse of sexual power. Self contempt from sexual abuse, nervous debility, load of exhaustion, load of fatigue, load of abuse. That's what Agnes Cactus. So, the next rubric philosopher. These three rubrics explain the core of self philosopher. Rags are silks or beautiful things. So he thinks rags are beautiful. And the next rubric is untidy. One single remedy that sulfur. And the next rubric pride and arrogance. See the very important remedy. Platina and Veretrum. The next rubric is prim. The remedy given is platina. So what's the meaning of prim? Prim means the feeling or showing disapproval of anything regarded as improper, stiffly correct. Very commonly we used to say prim and proper, prim and proper lady. You can relate it to platina. Sly, the meaning of the rubric sly is cunningness. The remedy given is tarantula and it's one of the main quality of every spider remedy. You know how cunning a spider is. He makes the web plan and hide somewhere in the web and wait for the prey to get it trapped. Targeted organ, location or anatomical area. So Fatak has given load of importance to the seat of action that of that remedy. So when he lists something under an organ, it means the remedies which have the most predominant action on that area or that organ or a particular anatomical location. Subarachnoid, one remedy is given, gelsemium. So gelsemium has the ability to produce hemorrhages on subarachnoid region of the brain, especially after shock, sudden news that cause a stroke or apoplexy. Intercostal region. See the remedies like ranagulus bulbosus. Very interesting. Tendoeclis. Iris. Popliti. Pancreas. Very important remedies. Iris versicolor. Chionanthus. Bile decks. So Fatak has given rubrics which indicates various stages of life, old age, senility, these are the remedies, climaxes, puberty and affections of the youth. There are certain rubrics in Fatak repertory which has both mental and physical meanings. One such rubric is pining. The meaning of pining is to long for something at a mental level and it also means emaciation at a physical plane. See the remedies like orum, phosphoric acid and natrium. 
Next rubric is extreme goes to. So sometimes to understand the meaning, you need to read the Fata preparatory or any other source books. So one of the remedy given in this rubric extreme goes to is malariana. Let's understand valeriana from Fata Materia America. Generalities. So valeriana mental and physical dispositions changes suddenly and go to extreme. Pains are darting, tearing, move outwards, are felt here and there, comes and go, jumps from one place to another. Agitation of all nerves, twitches, trembling, jerks. So this is the meaning of the rubric extreme goes to uncouth. One of the remedy given is Baretra Kaab. What's the meaning of uncout? Uncout means lacking good manners, both at a physical and mental plane. Paradoxical means contradictory. Ignatian, the well-known remedy for great contradictions. Prying. Prying means to become excessively interested in someone else's private matters. Intruding into someone else's life. It can be both a mental quality of a person or a physical action. Direction of symptom. So this is one area in Fata repertory that's worth looking for and it's really useful in practice. Let's see Fata repertory direction of symptoms. See the rubrics appear on one side go to other and there it aggravates. The complaint starts on one side and then it goes to other side, there it aggravates. See the remedies. Lycopodium, lacaninum. Interesting. Only eight remedies are given. Complaints increases gradually, increases suddenly, complaints diagonal, radiating and spreading Symptoms increases with sun. Uppermost aggravation. So there are multiple complaints from head to toe, but the uppermost symptoms which aggravates. Interesting. Bryonium, graphitis, gnesia and restox. Food and drinks, one of the very interesting chapters in Fata Prepatry. Let's see a case. There was a case of hypochlorohydrium of a man of 26. So there was a lot of sore erectation and acidity and he was taking antacids since 3 years. There was a lot of regurgitation and sore erectation which especially aggravates after drinking. So whatever he drinks, it comes as acids. Aggravation after eating fruits. So I asked, what fruits? He said, not everything. Especially when I eat fruits which are hard. I asked, what do you mean? Fruits which are hard, non-tender. And he then said, not ripen properly. So when I look into Fata Grapatri, what's his main complaint? Soreness and acidity. So let's see. Soreness, acidity. Take it as a general rubric. Then it especially aggravates on drinking. So drinking aggravates. Aggravates. Then there's a lot of erectation which are really sore. Erectation, sore. And the very peculiar symptom is aggravated especially when he eats non-tender, not ripened fruits. So let's see food and drinks chapter of water property. Fruits. Unripe fruit aggravation. 
So let's see the rapid trace out. The tremolate comes sulfuric acid. So I had given him sulfuric acid 30 weekly one dose with beautiful results. So let's see some rubrics from food and drinks chapter of Fatak repertory. Very interesting. Carrot aggravation, calcarea and lycopodium. Aggravation from spices needing remedy is maxonica. Tamarind water aggravation, selenium, sugar cane juice aggravation, arsenic album. So I remember a case of Dr. Shankaran where he used this rubric sugar cane juice aggravation. Nature and pace of the complaint, sudden, sudden effects of the symptoms. See the remedies, aconite, belladonna, Mag force, Epis mellifica, tempestuous action, very violent in action, aconite and colonoid, chronicity. When Fata gives these remedies under this rubric, what it means? It means these are the king of chronicity. These remedies are the king, which are the very leading remedies which have the chronicity. Intermittency. Symptoms diverse many. When the patient says he has complained here and here and here and multiple parts, this is the rubric for that. Diverse many. Calyaridate, Mercurius, Agaricus. Symptoms groups recur. The rubric, the meaning of this rubric, symptoms groups recur. So there is a recurrence of a group of symptoms. Symmetrical, very important remedy, Kali, Iod and Cephalin. There are symmetrical affections of the both side. Isolated effects. See this interesting rubric called periodicity. Periodical in general aggravation. Periodicity at the same hour. So the complaint comes at the same hour every single day. Exact periodicity. See the remedies. Never well since. Never well since abortion, CKL cold, burns, causticum, chest affections, sulfur. I had used this rubric with good result. Influenza, gelsemia, typhoid, carbovich, very important remedy. Interesting modalities. So, Fatak repertory is a mixed bag of interesting modalities. See some of them. Gargling aggravation. Carbovich. So vertigo of carbovich is especially aggravated during gargling. Friction aggravates. See the remedy, very important, tellurium. Licking lips aggravation, valeriana. Tickling amelioration, sepia. Vinegar application of amelioration, millilotus. Ice winking amelioration, important remedy. Is euphrasia. Euphrasia also has the tendency to wipe the eye almost every time with lot of lacrimation, violent redness, profuse redness, which makes it a great remedy for conjunctivitis. So let's see a case. So it's a case of headache. I had seen this case five years back when I was a student. In headache, there is a sensation of her forehead is enlarged. And there is a lot of heaviness of the head. I asked when would it aggravate? So she said morning. When I work in the kitchen, I get headache. So you need to probe more. So she said when when I when I make chapati, I can't tolerate my headache. Obviously, you cannot find rubrics such as making chapati aggravate. So you need to probe more till you get the most characteristic symptom. So. When I asked what exactly makes her worse, she said when I press and strain while making the dough, see the action of making chapati. So when you see the fatak property, there is an interesting model is kneading bread or making similar motion aggravation. With lot of enlargement and swelling, I give her sanicula and her headache become much, much better.
what you need to do to learn Fata repertory. So one of the most effective technique is to read the repertory from cover to cover, A to Z. If possible, you should write it. I remember my mentor, Dr. Goran Gaikwad, made me write from the rubric abdomen to zygote. So then it started sticking into my mind. I strongly recommend you to read the repertory from cover to cover. So you should know what rubric exists in part of repertory. Another interesting exercise is try to solve every case with father repertory. This is told by Dr. Shankara and it's really helped me. When the patient comes, I think, how would Fatak see this case? It will help you to develop a Fatak's eye of seeing cases. So think like Fatak. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video.